Welcome to Savita Dental College Lecture Cast in Periodontics. Today's topic is Periodontal Pocket. And the contents which we are dealing in this video are definitions, classification, and clinical features of periodontal pocket. Pocket is defined as a pathologically dependent gingival sulcus, whereas periodontal pocket is defined as pathologically dependent gingival sulcus due to apical migration of junctional epithelium or periodontal destruction. Pockets are classified in many ways based on pathogenesis as a pseudo pocket or a gingival pocket and a true pocket or a periodontal pocket. Pseudo pocket is due to the enlargement of the gingiva, whereas true pocket is due to periodontal destruction or apical migration of junctional epithelium. Pocket can also classified based on the surfaces involved as simple, compound and complex. In simple pocket only one surface around the tooth is involved. In compound more than one surface can be involved. A complex pocket is a spiral pocket where the infection from one side can spread it to the other side through the furcation area. That is common in a multi-rooted teeth and the significance is patients can develop periodontal abscess in this type of pockets. Pockets can also be classified based on the bone involvement as suprabony pocket and an infrabony pocket. In a suprabony pocket, the base of the pocket is coronal to the crest of the bone, whereas in an infrabony pocket, it is apical to the crest of the bone. In a suprabony pocket, you can see a horizontal type of bone destruction, whereas in an infrabony pocket, you can see a vertical type of bone destruction. Transeptal fibers are running horizontally in case of a suprabony pocket, whereas it runs obliquely in case of an infrabony pocket. PDL fibers are running in the normal direction in a suprabony pocket, whereas it run, run in more oblique direction in case of an infrabony pocket. It is also classified in many ways like based on consistency as fibrous pocket and an edematous pocket, based on depth as shallow or deep pocket, based on activity as active and inactive pocket. Clinical features, the symptoms are pockets are not a painful condition, but sometimes patients may experience deep dull pain or an itching sensation. Most of the patients may complain of bleeding gums and some patients may complain of spacing between teeth or pus discharge, tooth mobility or bad breath or food impaction. The clinical signs what we usually we can observe are a bluish red, thickened marginal gingiva or a bluish red vertical zone extending towards the alveolar mucosa or we can also see gingival bleeding, suppuration, tooth mobility, diastema formation and confirmation is by probing where you can see probing depth more than 3 millimeter. Thank you.